Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will learn how to make the smoke and fire collide with static and dynamic objects. So if you're interested, please keep watching. To start doing that, we need our smoke source and we use a sphere as the smoke source. And we need the objects that we have chimney and we have chimney top. So later we will animate this chimney top so we can uh, make sure that we can use the smoke with static or animated object. Now for the chimney, it's basically a tube and we adjusted the radius and some parameters. And uh, since the columns here 30, we, had, we select 30 from every 60 using group by range. And that means we will select an entire row and leave one, select one and leave one like that. So we can later color this uh, rows just for visual representation. After that, we have selected the bottom primitives row and make using polyfill, we made a, we have made a cap in, in the bottom so we, the, the smoke can't escape from the bottom and we just use an old object as a, our chimney out. For the chimney top, it's just a grid that we have transformed and gave it a little bit of color. Uh, we will use this transform node later to animate the uh, chimney top. Uh, now to start to emit smoke from the our smoke uh, source, you just need to select the smoke source, which have, which is a sphere. You can check to the hit uh, W and it will convert it to wireframe, so you can see this, uh, the sphere here. After that, you go to Pyro FX tab and we will work with this type of smoke. Now it created uh, two nodes for us, Pyro Simulation node and Pyro Import node. Hit play button. We can see that sphere, it emits smoke, but the smoke is going through the surface of the chimney. And that's because uh, uh, we need to apply an, um, uh, an static object to the chimney and chimney top. So in the network view, you just select uh, chimney and go to the collisions tab and hit static object. And we will repeat that with for the chimney top. Now, if we dive inside the pyro simulation again and hit L to organize the layout, you can see now we have a static object for the chimney and chimney top. If we now run the simulation again, you can see that the smoke is still going through the surface and not colliding with the static object. And that's because the, uh, the smoke is a volume, uh, not a surface like a cloth object. It's using volume collision. So inside pyro simulation, if, you, if we go to chimney and if we turn off the display geometry and enable the, and go to collision tab and enable the uh, collision uh, guide. Now, Houdini don't pick any guide until now because this chimney is a surface. It didn't have any thickness. And sometimes if you have a poly extrude applied to your geometry, so it's have a little bit of thickness, it will work. Uh, but you need to sometimes adjust the division size. For this example, we will not use the poly extrude. We will just use offset surface. So we will adjust the offset surface parameter and the division size until we can see the collision guide. Turn on the visibility on the bio simulation, dive inside and go to chimney top, then display geometry, turn it off. Now we just can see the chimney only. Sometimes if you adjust the uh, offset surface or even body extrude or uh, division size, you may, after you, after you run and after you run the simulation, you, you're still getting the smoke going through the surface. After, then that means you need to still adjusting the thickness uh, and give it a little bit more thickness. So now we will test it. If you turn off the collision guide, now we can see that that, that smoke isn't, uh, isn't going through the surface. That means it's good. But the issue here is the this box. This box is uh, representing the simulation box for this uh, the smoke. We need to adjust this box size because it's very small. It, the smoke will not make it to the top of this chimney. To adjust this this one uh, the this box size, you can go to the pyro node and inside perverts you just have the size. You, we can, we will adjust this one. Uh, if you want to turn the visibility of this box, you need to go to guides and multi and turn off the pound pounding box. That will turn off the visibility. And before run the simulation, apply the same thing with the chimney top.
but here you there is no smoke going up the chimney if we turn off the visibility of the chimney so we can know what's happening smoke particles disappear uh, during the time so you can deactivate this option by use by going to the pyro solver and under the shape tab you go, you dis you deactivate the dissipation option and we can give it a little bit of wind in the y axis from pyro node now we can see that the smoke is going all the way through the chimney until the top during the simulation flow frames mean it's this frame is simulated and cached to the system memory you just need to select pyro simulation and go to cache tab then you can adjust the cache memory from here if you want before running the simulation this time we just want to activate the opencl accelerator you just uh, need to dive inside uh, pyro simulation and go to pyro solver under advanced tab you just enable use opencl this will make your simulation faster Now you can see that it's working and the smoke is starting going uh, through the sides, not through the surface. Now we want to, to animate the chimney top and see if it uh, will work or not. So at frame 250, you just click uh, at, at translate, you just click Alt plus left mouse button click. And at frame 500, we want this one shifted left. Now we can see that the chimney top is starting to move, but the smoke did not interact with that. It still looked here. You can, you can see it's no, it didn't go through. It didn't go to the sky from here, this side. And if we stop the simulation and turn, uh, turn off the chimney top visibility and turn on the pyro simulation visibility, you can see that the pyro simulation at pyro simulation chimney top is still here, and that's because. When we selected the static, uh, static object from collisions tab, that makes the pyro simulation check the geometry position at frame one and, and use that for, remain, for all the remaining frames. So to make pyro simulation check the position and shape of the geometry at each uh, frame, we need to use the forming object, not static object. And that means if you have an animated object or you have a deforming object, that changing the shape or damaged or anything during time you will need to use object a deforming object instead of using static object and those notes is the same and the, the difference is only two checkbox uh, so we will adjust that without needing to reapply the deforming object to the uh, chimney top we just type inside the pyro simulation and for chimney top you need to enable the use deforming geometry and the evaluate so surface operation to interpolate geometry now we can see that once the chimney top starting to move this in the smoke now starting to going up to the sky uh, here you can see that the smoke is forming the uh, the shape of the the bounding box that we have set the size to before and if you want the smoke to continue rising to the sky without this limitation, we just need to dive inside the bio simulation node and go to the resize container and max bound and turn off the claim to maximum. So now the smoke will go to the, uh, to, the, to the sky. It will not stick to the to this bounding box anymore. There is more uh, one thing that you can do to increase the speed of the simulation a little bit. If you remember that we have the, the chimney top uh, uh, staying at this position from frame 1 until frame 250 and starting from frame 251 up to frame 500 we can turn off those two options animate them also from frame 1 until frame 250 and after that we will enable them to speed the simulation a little bit so now we have done this with the uh, smoke same thing, will work, uh, same thing will work with the flames or explosions and if you apply explosion or uh, flame and you notice that the uh, smoke or the fire is starting to escape from the surface in any part, you just uh, need to go back and adjust the uh, surface, uh, offset surface and the division size for the chimney.
I hope this video was helpful for you. This was Muhammad from my studio and thank you for watching.